Hi guys, this is Ben Lee here and today we are showing you guys how to break apart tamarind. And so we are going to be going from here, this nice block of tamarind pulp and turning it into this. Oh yes, I am so excited. And before we even get started, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit of how, about how they even extract the tamarind pulp. And so tamarind is a fruit and it has a hard shell on the outside. But what they do is they break apart the shell of the tamarind and they extract the tamarind pulp and they put it into these nice blocks. Mm. And yes, tamarind is very, it's like very pliable and sticky and tacky. And I'm going to give this a little taste. Okay. Oh, I can literally, mm. <laughs> Ooh. It's so sour, it's so tart, mmm, mmm, I could literally eat this all day, mm. but of course we gotta save it for the video, but before we even start, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our Bentley YouTube channel if you haven't already, but before I finish eating all this, let's get started on the video, let's go. Alright guys, so we're starting off with a block of seedless tamarind. Even if there are seeds, the process doesn't change. You're going to need lukewarm water to break down your tamarind and I have this fancy electric water heater to bring it to a perfect 104 degrees. But if you don't have this contraption, it is perfectly okay. Just use warm water. But if you're wondering where I got this electric water heater, the link will be in the description box down below. All right, and now that my lukewarm water is at the perfect temperature, I'm going to set it off to the side. For this, I'll be using a quarter of the tamarind. If you're using a knife, please make sure it's sharp because although it's seedless, tamarind blocks still have lots of tough fibers to cut through. So please make sure to sharpen your knife before using this. I don't want you guys to get hurt. So we're going to use a quarter of the tamarind block and for the rest we are going to wrap them back up, put them in a Ziploc bag and tuck them away until we need to use them again. In a clean bowl we're going to place our tamarind block and pour over our lukewarm water. So we're going to let the tamarind sit in this water for 10 to 15 minutes or until it is soft enough to break apart. Using your hands, separate the tamarind pulp from the fibers and the seeds as best you can. If you're a little bit of a knee freak, you can use a spatula for this, but you're going to be the one doing the dishes. And I don't want to do any more dishes than I have to. And plus, it's pretty fun and it feels kind of nice breaking the tamarind up with your hands. Now squeeze as much of the liquid out from the fibers and the seeds as best you can and instead of discarding it just throw it in this small bowl because later we will be using it for something else. And it's okay if you don't get every single fiber and seed just move on to the next step. To make absolute sure there aren't any unwanted seeds or fibers, pass it through a mesh strainer, making sure to press as much liquid through as you can. And there you have it, tamarind for you to use however you like. You can make it thicker by simply adding less water, but this is perfect for me. Alright guys, so that does it for our video. You can use this tamarind water right away or you can keep it in an airtight container for up to two weeks. And I say up to two weeks because after a while it starts to get sour and it starts to grow mold. So please use it within two weeks. And of course, I'm not going to be throwing away this tamarind seeds because I'm going to be using it for a snack. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> super sour, but so good at the same time. It's so addicting. Mm. All right, guys, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our Bentley YouTube channel if you haven't already. But until then, see you guys in our next video. Peace.